Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Incredible and Mr. Incredible from the Pixar's uh, Incredibles 2 Junior Supers line. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm saying that correctly, the Incredible. I think what they're trying to do is take Mr. Incredible and like Mobile and make, instead of like Incredible Mobile, Incredible. It, it, it doesn't quite work in my opinion, but... Apparently that's what they decided to call it, the Incredible, like Incredible Mobile, Incredible, I don't know. It's a, it's a tongue twister, it's confusing me. In any case, I really like this Junior Supers line. It's kind of similar to, say, like a Play School line or a Imagine X, something like that, but it's actually made by Jack Specific. So I guess they must have got the licensing rights for the Incredibles 2 and they decided to make a series of figures and a few vehicles and like vehicle play sets things like that so gonna be checking them out I thought they looked pretty neat uh, this was the first one I decided to pick up here take a look in the back it does show some other ones that are available there's this large boat called the hydro liner play set then there's the tunneler play set this guy is I think his name is the underminer he shows up at the end of the first movie and then there's elasticycle and elastigirl so I probably won't pick that one up just because they have a series of two packs of figures as well. And the Elastigirl comes with the villain and his name is the Screen Slayer or something like that. Um, and I kind of just don't want duplicates. That was kind of my major complaint about this set because they have a two pack of figures that's Mr. Incredible and Jack-Jack. And it's the same costume. I really wish the Mr. Incredible that came with this had his old costume that has the same colors as his car because he has a costume that's this light blue and black and if they had the figure that came with this the light blue and black first of all I love that costume so I would have loved to get a representation of that costume but also then it would have made me want to buy the two-pack to get Jack-Jack because I would have two different versions of Mr. Incredible instead of just the same one twice so that's just my two cents on that but in any case you can see kind of standard uh, open packaging here similar to Imagine X or Play School so we have the car here, and then we have the figure and two missiles. So I don't believe there's anything on the bottom to show you, and we already kind of looked at the back. It just says, Incredibles 2 brings back everyone's favorite family of superheroes in an exciting, hilarious, and heartfelt super sequel. This new chapter sees Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack encounter a brand new nemesis that puts the family's power to the ultimate test. So there you go. I'm excited for this movie. It comes out in about a month or two. So it should be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the packaging so we can take a closer look. Alright, so here is everything out of the packaging. I will say Jack Specific doesn't quite have the packaging game that Imagine X has. It has those same kind of weird plastic pieces that you have to turn to get out of like the anchors on the car, which is pretty standard for open packaging. But they don't have that uh, perforated section on the bottom that's very easy to access those you have to kind of rip the packaging apart which is kind of a bummer but you can get there and free this guy and once you do it's very very neat i like this car a lot i love the design of the car um like i said i love the old mr incredible color scheme which is why i really wish the figure that came with him was the old costume but what are you gonna do so before we get into all the features of the car i want to take a quick look at the mr incredible figure i think he looks top notch i really do like it a lot Head can move from side to side. You have that up and down and spin around uh, shoulder joint there. You have the rotation at the gloves. So the glove, the hands can rotate at the gloves. And then you have the standard kind of legs move together 90 degrees. So it's very similar articulation wise to say an Imagine X toy. And you can see here that they're just about the same size. Obviously the proportions are a little bit, you know, different, but I would say back to back they're they're pretty close so probably about three inches maybe a little bit taller um but yeah i think jack specific has done a nice job with these figures i really do like them a lot so mr incredible very cool taking a look at the incredible 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 yeah i'm gonna it's gonna take some practice to say that uh again really cool design like it a lot Love the light blue here on the hood. When you uh, just drive it forward, you can see it spins the flame coming out of the back to simulate rocket-powered action, which is really fun. Uh, the other thing you can do is, if you see the seat here, if you press down on the seat, the launchers will flip out of the uh, hood of the car, and then you take your two missiles here, 
and you load them in if I can hold on to them for four seconds. So you go ahead and pop that in and then pop them in and then you can while they're loaded push them back in and close this up which I appreciate. I, I don't like it when things you know you have to take the missiles out to get them to fit back inside they should fit with the missiles inside so that's a big plus for me. So again if you hit the seat press the seat down oops okay they were <laughs> they're not supposed to fire until you press the button let's try that again Okay, there we go. Now they both popped out, and then this big red button in the center here is what you're supposed to press to fire them. And they fire pretty well, I have to say. They're definitely nice when it comes to firing, and they get some good distance. I mean, they definitely could go even farther. I just put my hand out to stop them, so very cool. I like that a lot. I like that play feature. So I will push these back down, close this up. So again, I think the car looks really cool. The whole missile firing gimmick works really well. The uh, moving to spin the uh, fire on the back is just kind of a little bonus. And then of course you just take your Mr. Incredible and you sit him right in here. Now he doesn't sit super, he kind of lays back really far, but I mean, still works. And I guess if you want, you could just bend the legs a little bit less. Although I guess that would make him lie back even more, wouldn't it? So that doesn't really solve the problem. But I think it still works. I mean, he fits in there. He looks cool. The car looks really neat. I like it a lot. I think it's it's pretty fun. Um, I got this at Toys R Us for $14.99. So the car and the figure together, $14.99, which I think is a pretty decent price. I mean, when you think about Imagine X... Usually the one figure with the vehicle sets are around the same price, $14.99. And if you go to Toys R Us now, because unfortunately they are in the process of going out of business, um, they're still getting some new stuff, but then you get like brand new stuff for 20% off. So I got this um, at Toys R Us. I think back when I bought it, it was only 10% off, so it's $13.50. But if you'd go now, you would get it for about $12, and I think that's a great price. It's a really fun little toy. Um, I think it's totally compatible with Imagine X. You could even take Imagine X figures and set them in the car. Really would be no problem to do that. Sadly, they kind of set up a little bit better in the car, but they are compatible. So you could probably fit Mr. Incredible, you know, with most of the Imagine X play sets and things like that. Um, there might be some size issues, but I think it's a really fun little figure. I think Jack Specific really did a nice job. It's a great representation of the character. It has all the posability you would want. Pretty much standard posability for the you know, Play School, Imagine X, everything that's kind of come before it. The uh, standard for this kind of size class of figures. It's got all the posability you'd want. Nice sharp paint. The toy uh, car is fun. The missile firing gimmick works. And, yeah, I don't really have too much to complain about. Like I said, I think the, the worst thing about this toy was just getting it out of the box. <laughs> which wasn't ridiculous, but more involved than uh, usually you have with Imagine X and things like that. So, I recommend these. I think they look like a lot of fun. I think I have to give uh, kudos to Jack Specific. They usually do a pretty good job with the Nintendo figures that they make. And, you know, these seem like they're a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to be picking up some more. So look for reviews of the two packs, other vehicles, and things like that coming your way. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share the video. Please subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Incredible and Mr. Incredible from uh, Incredibles 2 Junior Supers line from Jack Specific. Actually, I, I lied. The packaging was a breeze. Trying to get myself to say Incredibile. That's the hardest part. <laughs> I keep wanting to say like Incredimobile or something like that. I, I thought it was called the Incredicar in the first movie, but I could be wrong. In any case, it's a fun little toy. Definitely check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.